Balochistan, Pakistan's least developed province, sits on untold amounts of wealth. Hundreds of millions of dollars worth of oil and mineral reserves. At the University of Balochistan, Dr. Abdul Salam has studied these natural resources for years. Really, our province in Balochistan is very rich in a variety of minerals like iron ore deposit, like copper deposit, like chromite deposit, like oil and gas and zinc. The whole Balochistan is really full of uh, these mineral resources. Uh, iron ore is very abundant in Dilband area, in Chagi area. Uh, more than 200 million ton iron is present in the Dilband area, more than seven, 70 million ton uh, iron is present in the Chagi area. Similarly, copper is quite uh, uh, in a huge amount is present in the Chagi area, like Sandak, like in the Kodik area. And it's also chromite in Muslim Bagh areas, uh, present in huge quantity. Uh, just we need to explore these things to export these things. Uh, and lead zinc is present in the Spela area. Uh, oil and gas, you know, in the Adera Bukti area, in the, um, in the, same, in the, in the north Baloch, in Balochistan, it's quite, quite common. These are quite huge resources for gold. Balochistan. Our gold is common, they are associated with the copper. I mean, they are present in Chagi area, in the uh, Bikodik area, in the Sandak area. Bawajoo this ke ke is sarzameen mein, Baloch sarzameen mein, koela, gas, petrol, sangi marmar, bhoot se aise kiemati wasail hai, jo aam Baloch ke, khushial zindagi ke liye, bhoot hi ziyada hai. Magar us se dousre istifadah kar rahe hai, dousre faida uta rahe hai. Agaaz-e hakuk e Balochistan, se is subah mein, samaji aur iktasadi tarakki ke ek aise dor ka agaaz ho ga, jis mein, استحصال نہیں بلکہ انصاف ہوگا دہشت دہشت گردی نہیں بلکہ امن اور تحفظ ہوگا جہالت کا اندھیرا نہیں بلکہ علم کی روشنی ہوگی مایوسی نہیں بلکہ اعتماد ہوگا میں نہایت خلوص دل کے ساتھ آپ تمام کی طرف سے اس خواہش کا اظہار کر رہا ہوں کہ ہم ان تمام سیاسی قوتوں کو ساتھ کے ساتھ بات چیت کرنا چاہتے ہیں ہم اس معزز ایوان کے توسط سے ان کو بات چیت کی دعوت دیتے ہیں After decades of fighting, the chieftains and the people of Balochistan were in no mood for dialogue. They had heard the Pakistani government's words of reconciliation before and felt that nothing had ever come of them. In 2010, the Pakistani government launched the Balochistan Rights Package, a program that promised schools, hospitals, roads, jobs, and financial support for the province. But on the streets of Balochistan, its people rejected the program, and the Baloch chieftains scoffed at the offer and refused to accept what they called the government's charity. This is a sort of a zakat that has been given for the Baloch. And most of the people who are sitting in the government, maybe it suits them to do some corruption. But as far as the Baloch is concerned, uh, uh, they don't want any zakat. They don't want charity. So provincial autonomy, development, these are, as one of your generals once said, peanuts for us. Slavery or high wages is not the substitute of independence. Suggesting to simpler people that we are ready to talk, where is there not? Concentration or armed struggle should be diverted to elsewhere. People giving up, people hoping, expecting. This is the port of the city of Gwadar in southwestern Balochistan. Sitting on the Arabian Sea, it's a place that went from a fishing village to a full-fledged port city within the last decade.
Gwadar is the place from where Pakistan plans to announce itself as an international shipping hub and a conduit for oil and energy for the rest of the region. Small wonder then that the country's government is vigilant about security here. This is a healthy competition between Bandar Abbas and Gwadar and Karachi, Bin Qasim and Chabar. So why not? Business is healthy competition. You see now it, it depends on us that we should bring peace, we should give security to businessmen and we should make this port a more viable, more marketable port than the others. You see we should get into a competition. So if we, uh, from now on, st uh, start thinking that there would be an unhealthy competition, no, I don't believe in that. But to the Baloch people, Gwadar and its development are reminiscent of a mindset dating back to the British colonization of this region, one that built roads and railways to serve its armies. These are destructive, as I understand it. This is to sort of occupy you, bring in outside population and exploit your resources. The people who are, uh, who are opposing uh, these kind of activities, they are in a very small number. But their voice can be heard everywhere. Majority of the people, they want development and progress. While that may be true, the people of Balochistan don't necessarily want that development and progress to come from the Pakistani government, who they say can't be trusted. That sentiment was clear during a recent visit to Gwadar by the Pakistani Prime Minister. As he held a cabinet session in the city to launch work at the port, residents from the area staged protests condemning the government and its plans for that port.